Wow. That's different. I really like that. Peshods or Pichods or Pichaw! <laughs> yeah, now I'm gorgeous. Although probably fuzzier was better. Okay. So this is not what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Happy Thanksgiving. It is Thursday, as always, but it's a special Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, I wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, because it's a holiday. So I've got the holiday fire going, and I've got the nice rocking chair, and I'm full. I'm very full. I've been full <laughs> all day. <laughs> we had turkey, and we had ham, and green bean casserole, and... Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy and pie. Oh, we had five different pies. And uh, my kids and my mother, who is sitting right over there watching, uh, this is the first time she's seen one of these live, uh, but she, uh, she, she claimed the, uh, the peach pie. <laughs> and my daughter claimed the pecan pie and an apple pie. And my son is claiming the pumpkin and part of the peach pie. I'll just be happy with whatever they leave me, really, at this point. I just, it's like buzzards sitting around going, <laughs> you know, I'm, I feel like I'm the prey, you know. Uh, so, what do we have? We got uh, Joe's watching. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Nothing better to do on a Thanksgiving, I guess. Uh, so, um, I really was kind of toiling over what it was I wanted to try tonight. Um, because, you know, it's Thanksgiving, and, and I wasn't sure what I wanted, so I went online and I did a little bit of a, a research to find out what bourbons are best with a Thanksgiving meal. And of course, pie. Lots of pie. Well, the first thing that crossed my mind was wine. Because it's Thanksgiving. Wine seems like a really nice thing to have with dinner. So I thought about having the Angel's Envy. Because the Angel's Envy is finished in port wine barrels. I thought, no... I love Angel's Envy. I really do. It's in my top 10. But I've had it before. And that's going to be the qualifier for a lot of things. So this is out. Uh, as much as it really <laughs> looks good the more I look at it, maybe I'll change my mind. The next one I thought about was one um, uh, that just it just seemed to hit the mark. And I don't mean to be punny about that, but it's Maker's Mark. This is the Maker's 46. This is the cask strength. I had a 46. I, I, it's down there somewhere. I couldn't find it. So I brought up the, four, the cask strength, and I'm like, yeah. And this is one that was recommended by the Internet. This is one. It's weeded. Uh, the 46 is it, just the regular 46 is, I think, probably my favorite maker's mark. Um, but, again, I just, it just doesn't, it's not ringing my bell. So we're going to skip that one. The next one that came up, and it came up a lot, and of course, you're probably guessing what it's going to be, and that's <laughs> Wild Turkey 101, Turkey Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, but this, is again, is the qualifier. I've had it before. I, I, now, I've never tasted it for a burb cast. But the thing of it is, is it's 101 proof, and I don't know that I want to go quite that high. Um, I don't know. I, it would be appropriate, but I do have I do have the Wild Turkey 81 proof downstairs. So if I wanted to do Wild Turkey, I'd probably opt for that one um, because, you know, it's a holiday. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. But I'm not going to do any Black Friday garbage tomorrow. Uh, so um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't think so. The other one that was recommended a lot, and this one I had to wrestle with because I really wanted to have this. Heather's with me also. Put some bourbon in your whipped cream. Maker's Mark is perfect for that. Oh, that sounds good, actually. I may have to do that when I have pumpkin pie tomorrow. I'll pick one that uh, works out well for that. The other one that came up on the internet, and this was on all a lot of the sites that I did my research on, and that was the Woodford Reserve Double Oak. Um, this one came up a lot. And had I smoked my turkey... I mean, this would go great with my ham. I mean, because we made the ham, and that was like hickory smoked ham is, <laughs> yeah, mm. um, But um, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had this, so it'd be kind of like a first time. But I just, I just think it's a little, maybe a little bit too, too much, too oaky for, uh, for Thanksgiving, uh, especially since I didn't do uh, really a smoked turkey or anything like that. 
So I finally settled on one. And it's one I've not had before. And it's one that was gifted to me. And I was holding on to it because the person who gave me the gift, I said, we're going to try it together because he had never had it either. Well, it's been a while since he gifted this to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And uh, Jeff Titchener, if you happen to watch this uh, tonight or on a rerun, uh, we're going to open up the Knob Creek that you gave me. This is the smoked maple. Uh, it, you know, when you're thinking about pumpkin pies and things like that, uh, the smoked maple just sounds really, really tasty. Now, this one is a lower proof. This one is 90 proof, and, and this one I can get away with. So I get to struggle. Oh, this wasn't so bad. Oh, it's because it's a little bit older, I think. The wax is just falling apart. Oh, it's everywhere. <laughs> That's not nice. It's everywhere. So at Knob Creek, I guess you got to get them open a little sooner than I opened it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it's on the... There we go. Let's get that off there. Now I'm not going to have it all. Yeah, I still have it all over everywhere. <laughs> okay. So... Again, mom's sitting right over there, and she got to see how meticulously I try to set everything up for these burb casts. And my daughter just uh, texted me and says she's home safe. Yay. That's, I'm, I like that. If, if your kids text you and say, hey, I made it, you've done something right. All right, so we're going to get out the uh, beautiful um, uh, Kentucky Bourbon Trail uh, Bourbon Glass. I like this one because it's similar to a Glencairn in that it has the tighter snoot, but it's not so tight as to um, make it air out slowly. Uh, so it's going to allow that air to move around. It's going to help it breathe a little bit. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this. This is, again, the Knob Creek Smoked Maple. So Now, when I do this, again, uh, at Christmas time, there's probably going to be a tree back there, and I'll make sure I wear my red jammy pants. <laughs> you know, maybe a Santa hat. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> you know how it is. All right. So, I have dogs uh, complaining behind me. All right. So I know that it's like really warm out. Uh, it's like, in, I think it's in the upper 50s or, or upper uh, 40s or low 50s or something like that right now. I just walked outside to, you know, walk my daughter out to her car and I got the fire on. Well, it's a little warm for a fire, so I've got the windows open, but I just, it's all the aesthetics. I just want the aesthetics, right? All I need is a pipe. <laughs> all right, let's give this a sniff. This is the smoked maple Knob Creek. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's got a lot of smoke to it, and it's got a lot of maple to it. Incredible. I, okay, so when you do a bourbon, it, there's not supposed to be any added flavors, but i got to look and see if they actually added flavors to this. It says... It says it's a Kentucky straight bourbon, whiskey, with natural flavoring. So they didn't add anything to it. It doesn't seem like. I'm going to have to look this one up. I don't see anything written anywhere on it. But boy, I tell you, that maple is strong. Tom's watching. Hey, Tom. <laughs> He called right before the burb cast, and uh, he says, I'll call you as soon as it's over. So we'll be chatting. I'll be slurring, but he'll, he'll be chatting, and I'll be sleeping. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's amazing. I think I chose well. I, I feel like I should be having some pumpkin pie with this. And I think if I'm going to do that whipped cream trip, I'm going to do it with this. Wow. That's amazing.
That is very, very mapley. Wow, that is so sweet, but so good. And that smoke flavor to it. Fantastic. This would not be something that I would choose as a go-to. This is a specialty drink. This would be a dessert drink for me because it's just so sweet and just so mapley. I got to look into this and find out what they did. I mean, it, so I was checking into the Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark has a whole series of, of new ones that they just put out. One of them is called Milkshake. Another one's called uh, Pecan Pie, things like that. What are you doing, dude? My dog. It's like weird. So anyway, uh, so I looked into those and I was curious about them. I didn't want to buy them because I don't want to buy a bourbon that's supposed to taste like a milkshake, you know? That sounds gross. But it's the way they do the charring of the barrels, the way they do the toasting in the barrels that gives it a very distinct flavor. And they choose something that just seems like it reminds them of a milkshake. They're not adding any flavors to it. I would be hard pressed to believe that this didn't have an added flavor to it. If it was, if it didn't say bourbon, I would think that they added flavors to it. So if this is just coming out of the cask, I'd be really surprised. So people are talking. Tom's talking. This won't upset your group cast, will it? No. Although you haven't gotten attached to the internet yet, so. So if you need me to do that, you're going to have to end up oh, waiting. Right. <laughs> you just got to wait. Finish your book. You said you were going to finish your book. <laughs> you want to, well. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. I can watch a couple books. Yes. All right. Okay. You're, oh, you were going to watch me on the computer? I'm right here in front of you. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right, so there are other flavors in there. Um, I'm getting some vanilla, um, some banana. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Now I've got a dog laying right at my feet. <laughs> They're not used to me setting up in this room. They're a little bit dumbfounded as to what I'm doing. And they've already gone out once, and they're probably pestering me again to go out again, because that's what they do. So, all right. One more. It's very mellow. A little on the heavy side. Uh, but it's very, very smooth. Um... I mean, they call it smoked maple, and that's a really good thing to call it. That is what it is. There are a few other flavors in there, uh, but they're really crowded out <laughs> by the by the maple and the and the uh, the oak. And it's playtime. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the table for the next burb cast. I tell you what, they do not know what to think of this. So it's like Daddy's sitting in here. He's squeaking his toy. <laughs> Do you hear it? <laughs> what are you doing, boo? Give me that. See, now I'm playing. Because when you have a dog that wants to play, you play. That's what Thanksgiving's all about, playing with the dogs. I got his toy. <laughs> all right, let's add a little water to this bad boy. I don't expect it to give me a new flavor profile. I expect it to probably amplify the butteriness of this. That's another thing. Buttery and butterscotch. I don't know what the, I don't know what the mash bill is on this one. Uh, I don't know if it's got like some rye in it. I, I didn't do any research on it. I really should have. But I wasn't really sure what I was going to drink until right before we got underway. I had five bourbons up here, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to dive into until I hit go, until I hit the live button. <laughs> Playing. Jump up and get it. I threw it up on the couch. And he's looking at it like, don't want to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let me give it a little stir. Get that water infused a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the butterscotch came out a little bit more. 
Yeah. I wouldn't think it possible, but it got it even sweeter. It took a lot of the sting off of it. Because um, it, it is 90 proof. It does have a little bit of an ethanol sting to it, but it... Come here. <laughs> this is his uh, hedgehog. <laughs> I picked a bad time, I guess, to do a bird cast. Um, I, so I didn't expect it to get any sweeter, but it really did. Um, the bite of the ethanol is pretty well gone with just a squirt of water. Um, the butterscotch is definitely coming out more. I, I'm even getting a sense of honey out of it. Mm -hmm. But it's more maple syrup still. That's just a strong, strong flavor. All right, so I, again, I don't think it's going to change much when I put it on ice, uh, but I'm going to put it on ice. And this is all we're going to do. We're not going to do some big thing. We're not going to make mixed drinks. We're not going to do any of that. I'm not going to make whipped cream. <laughs> we're just going to put it over ice. Eh, not this one because there's water in this one. This will be a short one. All right. Put the cork back on that, just in case the dog jumps up on the, on the thing there and knocks it over. That would be no bueno. So we got one of those beautiful clear ice spheres that I love so much. Look at it just glistening in there. Isn't it lovely? I love it. It's beautiful. This one's got a little flat spot. It makes it look a little bit like the Death Star. And uh, they do have a Death Star mold. I don't know if I'm nerdy enough for that. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm just going to get it nice and cool in here. i got to be careful not to splash it over the side. I'm amazed at the heavy maple in this. I really thought that it would be just a hint of it, but it's, it is really front and center. As expected, it didn't change much. Um, I would say of the two flavors, the smoke and the the maple, I think the smoke came out a little bit more on the ice. Again, ice is generally going to mute the flavors. But in this case, it's kind of bringing them together a little bit. Um, I mean, it's not like they weren't together before. But there's something about having it on ice that just mellows it out even more. And again, it's going to mute the flavors. But in this case, it's, it's, it's really tough to describe. I mean, you have two things that are coming together as one, and then there's no longer two becoming one, it's just one. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Back to that honey, that maple syrup. Um, the colder it gets, the more the smoke goes away, the maple syrup comes back. It's really, um, really very unique. And again, this is not something I'm going to want to have every time I open up a bottle of bourbon. I, and, and this is probably the last of this I'm going to have for a little while. And even tonight, I'm going to open up something else. <laughs> uh, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it's very, very mapley. It's very, very sweet. Uh, it's definitely, you know, you've heard of a dessert wine, um, like an iced wine or a port. Uh, this is a dessert bourbon. Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, I could have, I could have done fine, excuse me, with Angel's Envy, having that a port wine cask. Uh, I could have been very happy with that. And then after the burb cast, pouring another one of those. This one, I think I'm done for tonight. I will probably pour one for my mother because she's got to be curious about this. 
Yeah, she's nodding. She she's very curious about what I'm talking about because it's just so mapley. What do we got here? I don't see. Tom says hi, Cami. I don't see a Cami watching. So, uh, but if she is, hi. <laughs> All right. One more. It's very good. It's very, very good. Um, it's very, very sweet. I mean, what else can I say about it? There are two definite flavors that are coming out of it. There's a little bit of, of a variance. A little time, I got honey, I got uh, butterscotch, I got uh, definitely, but the smoke and, and the maple, that's what it's meant to be, and that's what it is. It is very much, for me, a dessert whiskey. It's tasty. Uh, but it's not something I'm going to want to have all the time. You know, it's, it's, like, um, it's like a ride at Cedar Point. Really fun when you're on it, but do you want to go on that same ride day after day after day after day? No. Um, you know, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. There's a lot of very sweet flavors coming through this. It's good. I like it. But I, it's not, I mean, you wouldn't want to eat pumpkin pie every day, would you? With whipped cream and all this stuff? I mean, if you do, good on you. <laughs> Pass the asparagus, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, all right. Hey, uh, it said she was watching. Okay, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So, hey, uh, that's, it's a quick one. We're going we're gonna to wrap it up early. It's uh, just, what, what, 22 minutes, something like that. It's not going to be a long one. Uh, I just wanted to go through and uh, wish you all a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, some things uh, I'm thankful for are, well, first of all, you uh, for watching the Burbcast and for sharing it <coughs> on Instagram <coughs> at Beautiful Bourbon. <coughs> the blog is at uh, 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 beautifulbourbon.com. <coughs> uh, of course, uh, the Burbcast as well. You can share that. Um, and I'm, I'm also uh, thankful for my dogs and my mom sitting over there uh, putting up with me setting all this up and everything and being meticulous. Thankful for the kids for coming over and having Thanksgiving with me. Uh, it, it's been a blessed day. Every day is a blessed day. Any, any time I'm on this side of the grass, it's a blessed day. And I thank the Lord for the, his breath in my chest and the thump, thump, thump. The air, or the, my ears to hear and my eyes to see, it's, every day is a blessing. And Thanksgiving is a day that we can look at those things and think, thank you, right? And thank you for watching, and we will see you next week right here on Beautiful Bourbon. Uh, and thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. See you then. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>